subscribe to my channel now remember subscribe to my channel see you hi welcome to my youtube channel and welcome to my video today Today it's a video about Benny Lewis who say that he is a polyglot but let's find out and see if he can really speak all those language that he say that he can speak. First of all I want to say thank you to my subscribers and to my viewers especially thank you to my subscribers for subscribing to my YouTube channel. If you're not subscribed yet hit the subscribe button. So let's continue watching more videos of Benny Lewis. Thank you for watching. Let's continue. Let's continue and watch the Chinese videos. Let's watch the Chinese videos and see how fake they are. Let's start with the first video here. Mandarin in three months learning project intro. Look here it says fluent Mandarin in three months and then here in the title it says Mandarin in three months this project learning project intro goal not a promise here he say goal not a promise but I think he added after I think first he wrote the title here also fluent in three months or project fluent in three months and then some people they did not believe him i think some people did not believe him then he changed here and say learning goal intro goal not a promise you can see here in the video it says fluent mandarin in three months in the video here you can see it says fluent mandarin in three months and here it's in the in the sub in the description in the description he say goal not a promise and also here look benny lewis fluent in three months mandarin learning journey learning journey video introduction so look he say fluent in three months mandarin learning journey but after he will say this was the start of my mandarin learning journey i learned from lots of criticism in this introduction how clear i have to be that this was an ambitious target i was aiming for since setting my sights high pushed me to get to the highest level i could the highest faking level you fucking shit scammer I'm very sure it's just some fake videos. I think because people did not believe him because he said that he got some criticism. So I think he got some criticism for his introduction that he would be fluent in three months. And I think after that he changed the description and like that. Because people did not believe him then he changed the description. The highest level I could regardless of whether I would get fluent level didn't happen in this project or conversational level did happen he will say fluent level fluent level didn't happen but conversational level happened i think if people believed him then he would say that he became fluent but because people did not believe him then he changed that description and changed the title changed the, the title and description here and tell that he did not become fluent but it's only because people did not believe him if people believed him he would say that he become fluent and here our conversational level did happen he would say conversational level happen i think because belie people believe that he become conversational level maybe people tell him oh you're only conversational level you're not fluent then he will write here that he become conversational level but i think he did not even become conversational i think he did not even become conversational maybe it's just some fake videos but because people believe that he did not become fluent and he only become conversational then he will write that here he will just write that but if people think that he become fluent if he did sound fluent in his videos and look like he was fluent then he will write that he just want to fool people and scam people all his videos are just some fake bullshit please keep in mind that this was always a goal and never a claim really never a claim 
then what is this fluent in Mandarin in three months? Says fluent Mandarin in three months and his website, his website fluent in three months.com. His website fluent in three months.com and it says here fluent Mandarin three months. And I think the description before it was also fluent in Mandarin three months or something like that. Also, in the start of this text here, it says Benny Lewis fluent in three months Mandarin learning journey. He did promise that he would become fluent in three months and it was a claim. It was a claim that oh he can get fluent in three months and also he claimed that he can get fluent in any language in three months. And he claimed that anyone can get fluent in any language in three months and that's what his website is about. That's how, he's, that's how he scam money from people by saying that you can become fluent in any language in three months or or reach some high communication level or something like that. He's just some fake scammer and I'm very sure he would just fake those videos also. Please keep in mind that this was always a goal and never a claim. Then follow along the rest of the videos to see my communication skills improve. Follow along the rest of the videos to see my communication skills improve. And follow along the rest of the videos to see my communication skills improve. Why I repeat this? Because this is what I was talking about also when I show his Japanese videos and his other language. Is that in the start he will make it look like in the start like he's just starting to learn and he can only say a few things or he can say some sentence like that. And then after he will make some more fake videos that he's been studying for two weeks or one month or two months or three months like that and then every time he will make it look like he's becoming better but he's just reading from some script and editing and then he will just make it look like he's becoming better and better and that he can speak more than before but all of it is just some fake and he cannot speak anything or speak any language And why, like I, I mean, I mean that he will make some videos after two weeks or one month or two months or three months, <clears throat> where he will fake it more, where he will make it more fake, and make it look like he become better, even he did not learn anything. Just fake bullshit. And why did I do this? To get to know Chinese culture. That was the point all along. So see the later videos where I spent two months traveling China and you will get why I had to learn as much as I could as quickly as I could. You can be confident at speaking any language in weeks instead of years. Find out how at fluent in three months, fluent in three months dot com. See he do he do pretend that he can become fluent in three months. <clears throat> and here he, he say that that why he did this he want he say to get to know the shiny to to get to know Chinese culture but I think he go there to meet some Chinese woman and having sex with Chinese woman he go there to spend time with Chinese woman and drinking and party and just to see another country and have some fun maybe he also want to see the culture but I think he go there mostly to meet some woman spend some time with some woman like that and then he will scam people's money so he can travel and meet woman he will scam people from money so he can travel and meet women like that. Just some fucking shit scammer. And look here, uh, here, Steve Kaufman shithole. Steve Kaufman shithole. Everyone like this Steve Kaufman or many people like him, but he's also some fake shit. But people just believe him because he's old. Only because pe only because Steve Kaufman is old and say that he has been studying for more than 20 years or how many years he have been studying his whole life language he's studying the whole life and blah 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 bullshit even if you study your languages your whole life you will not be come fluent in 20 language or know or know how to speak 20 language or 30 language or 50 language it's just some bullshit but people believe in him because he makes some convincing videos same like Luca Lampariello who will make some convincing videos that's why people who believe in Steve Kaufman but he's also some fake bullshit Irish polyglot there are very basic sentence prepositions stylistic mistakes in your writing 
which are these and since when are hastily dashed off comments on a YouTube channel to be used as a measure of one's accuracy in using a language my French is better than your English I'm sure of that how can you be so sure but who is he responding to or is he texting I think but why says Irish polyglot is he texting Benny Lewis here or is he texting someone else I think he's texting Benny Lewis but why he was but if he's texting Benny Lewis why he would say my French is better than your English I'm sure of that how can you be sure and this is his original channel this is his original channel that he just uploaded a video on one day ago Stephen Krashen and language equation I think this Stephen Krashen is also one of them he's also working with them this Steve Krashen Polyglass Stuart Ray J Ray there are all many people working together all those fucking shit scammers man sure you failed but you will go really good in three months here you are a charlatan <laughs> who is this guy on? yeah I actually bought a computer in Taipei and traveled with it for two years with Popo Mofo on the case so I learned it from seeing it every day really really you learn it mm, bullshit <laughs> Janelle B will you marry me <laughs> yeah <laughs> What the fuck, man? What the fuck, man? Yeah. Who is this person? Real estate. Chinese cash buyers looks like some weird stuff social media consultation social media marketing CEO hire you says hire me hire you for what what the fuck man web development tutorial and more hospital. what the fuck man really not to read a newspaper but c1 level doesn't make sense why did you bother to read cfr level descriptions unlike the concept of fluency these levels are quite well defined and your aims are nowhere near c1 with c1 level of mandarin you would be able to recognize recognize a wide range of idiomatic expressions and colloquialisms appreciating register shifts understand complex technical information such as operating instructions specifications so for familiar productions and services follow films employing a considerable degree of slang and idiomatic usage understand in detail speech on abstract and complex topics of a specialist nature beyond his her own field so he or she may need to confirm occasional details especially if the accent is unfamiliar okay <laughs> okay what you're describing in the video is actually some kind of strong b1 which is indeed achievable after three months of serious study but yeah i understand you need to make outrageous claims in order to attract more viewers after more than three years of this video did you learn chinese and of course he did not respond to him because he did not learn anything 
Uh, here's someone from Denmark. I challenge you to learn Danish in three months. I will buy you dinner if you reach C2. <laughs> what the fuck, man? Quite an easy task for a native English speaker who speaks German. Uh, well, shit, man. I had an English teacher when I was studying my degree. She told us that she took three months to learn Mandarin in Beijing and she really could keep speaking it afterwards. But for me, as a Hong Kong Chinese, my Mandarin sucks. I could only talk to her in English. But people don't believe his bullshit. That's why he changed it. <coughs> Shit, you can't be fluent in three months, especially in Mandarin, where there's more than 3,000 characters frequently used and more than 500,000 words besides the pronunciation is really tall stop misle misleading people stop misleading people i'm not saying that to dissuade people from learning this language all i'm saying is that mandarin is difficult and it requires commitment dedication and persistence and a long time but it's not possible to reach Hi, interesting video. I'm a bit dubious about the levels you say you are. I myself have studied Spanish and German and I would say I speak them to a very high standard, but I wouldn't say that I was a C2. To me, C2 is basically native speaker level, which is what I am in English because that's my first language. Maybe I'm misinterpreting the framework, but it seems to me that C2 is someone who is completely bilingual and has been that very way since verse don't know so maybe i'm too harsh or critic of myself no no you're right i find it hard to believe he is c2 level in spanish french and others as he says because c2 is completely native speaker fluent i'll tell you what level he is in all the language he is bullshit fake scammer level he is bullshit fake scammer level I'm afraid you are misinterpreting the framework. I have been awarded a C2 diploma <laughs> from the Instituto Cervantes Spanish. <laughs> yeah. I have seen your Spanish video, son of a <laughs> Your fake Spanish video, I've seen them. And past four out of five sections on Goethe Institute exam German. <laughs> yeah. I prepared English students for their Cambridge exam, so I know very well what is involved. You have pre prepared English students for their Cambridge exams. You're full of bullshit. The C2 exam by mul multiple institutions is sat by thousands of people every year, pretty much none of which would speak the language from birth. Ah, fucking bullshit. And then she tell him, oh, okay, then my apologize. Don't apologize to this fucking son of a <laughs> scammer. Don't apologize to him. He is a fucking shit scammer. Don't apologize to him because he's just fake liar scammer son of a bitch. And he's just some fucking shit scammer. Don't apologize to him because he's just a liar. You don't have any of this diploma or any of this certificate. You don't have this certificate and if you have some certificate and show it to people, then I'm very sure he paid money to someone to make some fake certificate or something like that. He's just some fucking scammer shit man. Wow, there's a lot of very bitter and very weak people in the comment section of this video. Yeah, really. I think it's your asshole that is weak or not tight anymore. I think too many guy do something in your butthole. That's why you will defend this guy, you fake shithole man. Rather than trying to pick holes in what is by far and away the most realistic and truthful approach to language learning I have yet come across, why don't you guys put down your books and dictionaries, go outside and bloody use the language my Chinese is awful, but in the one month I really set my mind to bloody using the thing. It is shutting up. You cannot study how to speak a language much like you can read a book about how to fight and get in a ring. It takes hours of time learning how to move and think until it becomes natural. Ben, you are inspiration for me. He's inspiration for you. 
I think he's inspiration for your asshole. I think he's inspiration for your asshole. And did you spend some special time with Benny Lewis? Did you spend some special time with Benny Lewis, you fucking shit, sh shit hole man? Who is this fucking son of a <laughs> supporting the scammers? Ah, look, you have some video here, some Christian pagan Russian tradition and many men together. You have some naked men here together. Uh, you like the naked men here? Fucking shit, Holman. Shiny sword face, blah blah blah. Fucking shit, Holman. Who is he liking here? Is there other polyglot here in his liking videos? Fucking shithole. Mm, no, not really, but he's just some bullshit nonsense guy. Fucking clown man. Benny, you are an inspiration. Benny, you are an inspiration for me. You are someone I introduce all my English students to. Really? I've been stuck TEFL teaching for a few years. Really? And thank to you, I lead by example and have no God account. I refuse to talk to people in English on. I am in the mainland now. I will go to Taiwan after that for a semester two. From that point on, I'm from Sweden. From Sweden, really? Okay. I saw people from Sweden use their brain. I saw people from Sweden use their brain, but you're not really using your brain because you believe in this fucking scammer. And I do not speak English either. Use Chinese or go away. Keep up the good work. Yeah, yeah. What good work? Good work faking and lying and scamming people. You want him, want him to keep up his good work to fake and lie and scam people? And you tell him that he is your inspiration. What inspiration, you fucking gay Sweden guy? Fucking shithole, man. Hey, <laughs> Benny, could you give me some tips? I really want to learn to speak Chinese. Those people, they always ask the polyglot YouTubers to give them some tips or help them to learn some language. They cannot even speak the polyglot. Like the polyglot YouTubers cannot speak this language. The polyglot YouTubers cannot speak this language, then people will tell them to give them some tips or some help how to learn the language. Yeah, bullshit. I agree that people who correct silly spelling mistakes everywhere are annoying. However, there is one thing in English that I do try to correct people on the conditional, specifically shoulda, coulda, woulda. Okay. People seem to think that the correct way of saying it is should off could off and would off when really the word is have and not off okay i think we're all guilty of having one or two things that bug us in our native language as part of what make us make you a native speaker in my opinion blah 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 uh, no the more you write on the internet the more people are likely to point out your mistakes regardless of your level regardless of your fake edited scammer level your fake edited scammer level and reading from a script this is the grammar nasty feature on the of the internet and has nothing to do with foreign language skills people leave comments on my blog all the time that i forgot a comma or misspelled something in english it happens doesn't mean i'm not a high level english speaker just that i'm sloppy when writing in general grammar nasties are annoying in every language you cannot speak any language and it looks like you also have problem with your English. So the only language you can speak, you cannot even spell or write correct grammar. <laughs> That's what I say to shithole polyglot YouTubers, all of them. Even their native speaker of English still, they cannot spell correctly or, or correct grammar. Their own language, they cannot even spell correctly or make correct grammar. They're really bad in their own language and same time they want to tell you that they can speak 10 or 20 or 30 or 50 language. I've already showed you how bad Luca Lampriello 
his spelling in English and then you will tell me oh it's because he's from Italy he's not from Italy he's from USA Luca Lampredo is from USA and he cannot even spell or write correct grammar in English <coughs> every time I talk about this shit holes I want to vomit every time I talk about this shit holes I want to vomit also Lindy Bosa showed that she cannot even spell correctly and I have seen more spelling mistakes on her website and also on her YouTube channel but I did not show all of them Lindy Boats, she is also from USA she cannot spell correctly also and the same here with Benny Lewis many of them they cannot even spell or write correctly in English and that's the only language they can speak they are just some fucking abnormal people we all slip up at times for instance you didn't capitalize the I in if or in Italian this may mean that you don't have C1 English or it could mean that you wrote something quickly for a YouTube comment not for a grammar exam yeah 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 shithole uh, blah 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 they're all bullshit I think he called himself Irish polyglot before because people right here Irish polyglot Irish polyglot I would uh, I would say that it is impossible to be fluent in Japanese or Chinese without an extremely high reading level I've met many people who have lived in Japan or China or, J or China for 5 till 20 years and while they can easily get by and talk to people they are nowhere near native level because they can't read properly if I try to even read passages from books in Chinese or Japanese, they wouldn't understand many words because they never came across them in day-to-day -day life. See, he tell him that there are some people in Japan and China who have been living there for 5 till 20 years and still they're not fluent in the language. But this fucking shithole polyglot YouTubers, they want to tell you they can be fluent in 3 months or 1 month or 1 week or 1 hour. All those fucking shit scammer polyglots, man. Ah, bullshit. Ah, bullshit. Ah, bullshit. 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 You want to buy his book? Don't buy his scammer book. Don't buy his scammer book. Mm, ah, bullshit. 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 Blah, blah. I think when people did not believe his bullshit, that's why he changed here in the. That's why he changed here and say that it's that a goal, not a pro promise. That's why he changed here and say goal, not a promise. And also that's why he say, hey, please keep in mind that this was always a goal and never a claim. When people did not believe his bullshit, that's why he changed it. Let's continue watching. Subscribe to my channel now. Remember to subscribe to my channel. See you. اشترك في القناة دلوقتي. افتكر اشترك في القناة. اشوفك. السلام. وسكت ابونيا في من قناتنا. وسكت ابونيا. بسيس. ابونيبو اما شن من من تنا. ابونيبو. ابونيبو اما شن.